Hi, here we are going to see about the MB's predictive service intelligence. The solution speaks about managing the infrastructure servers in a very deeper level and a very easier way. So this particular solution concentrates on the infrastructure levels and how the servers can be managed more easier is what the solution is all about. The creator of this particular solutions are the Bipul Kumar Patra, the president technology of MB and Shreyashi Patra, AVP and Jyoti Raman, myself being a data and AI architect and Avik Sarkar being the developer, enterprise and application SharePoint and the MB team. Uh, we have been working on uh, several aspects of this solution. The particular project have been designed on developing a comfortable way to an IT person to manage the tickets and to manage the infrastructure in a very better way. So what he wants, what the IT person wants, he wanted a system that auto loans the human engagements in a very broader way. And he wanted a system that can consolidate, give a consolidated view like how the IT support activities have been taken care. And he also wanted a clutter free experience of easy tracking on the ticket side as well as on the performance side. And a single place where an IT service can be monitored using uh, different uh, visualization applications like Power BI and Log Analytics and how this vulnerabilities assessment can be done and how we can actually give a predictive approach for it. So these are the things what the IT person will be looking upon when he wanted to think about an infrastructure management tool or an IT support ticket, uh, IT support or ticket management tool. On that case, the EPSI, this gives you and streaming generated data that actually gives you the continuous monitoring of the servers, giving you the malicious attacks and where the event patterns. In this particular solution, we have made the complete understanding on the event recognition. So events have been stored in the logs that gives you the metrics and that metrics have been taken care along the logs that use the anomalies and that anomalies have been given to the IT term, IT team as an alert. So the preemptive alert that can make the IT person to get wake up before the production downtime or uh, production anomalies happen. So ambiguations happen. So how he is going to take out this and how he can able to make an action plan that is through our predictive service intelligence bot. And also we have developed another module where he can able to solve the ticket solving which is based on the IT support. So these two things are connected in the single platform that gives more understanding on the solution. The DNA of this particular solution, it is meant for developing the intelligent IT infrastructure and gives mitigation and adaptation for any environments. So the, there will be uh, there are different uh, scenarios happening that uh, says like uh, this is uh, actually a hybrid environment, seeing few are in the local and few are in the uh, online and cloud connected. So the apps also now becoming cloud connected too. So to monitor all the applications in one place and how this particular server can, I mean, application can sit in one place and monitor all these things. That is what we have designed this solution upon. And it also gives you the services more extra than expected that gives within one to two weeks with our MB, MB's technical team. And it is meant for the doers and go-getters of who is managing a complex IT operation that is made very easier to them. The main objectives of this solution is on the enhanced performance and the service intelligence that gives you the enhanced operation support, giving you a better visualization, reduced iterative, iterative visualization and solving the service list tickets. So these are the service intelligence which we are providing on the performance side. Where is the productivity downtime and how it can be reduced, how a predictive maintenance can be approached to reduce this productivity downtime. So all these things are discussed on the performance side. So these two things are combined and makes our EPSI system, which gives an improved monitoring and automating of the solution and communication to be given at the various levels because the most of the servers will be communicating over SNMP and OPC UA communication. So those communication, how we are 
uh, tagging the parameters and giving the visualization upon. So those things also really matters when we are doing an infrastructure management solution. And it also gives a 360 degree view of infrastructure management and the maintenance support of uh, the 360 degrees as well. And it gives you a machine learning strategy on developing the intelligence that your human intervention will be uh, very less. What is the purpose of this solution is to give a predictive approach to the IT person where he can come to know that there is some anomalies is about to happen and to mitigate the risk and how to proactively stop the failure and how to implement the recovery actions, like what are the recovery actions can be taken upon and how it can be given with more automation, most automation levels that for the IT human interventions can be reduced and the smart monitoring of applications and other performance parameters that we also can come to know the root cause analysis of the particular performance of that particular app in which parameter also and smarter ticket management solution along with that we are also getting the event patterns that completely upskills our revenue to the major scales the architecture of this particular solution is like we are having an infrastructure management solution where we have our own r d where we are developing our application development frameworks and the mitigation tools and the migration tools and uh, so uh, uh, bug report tools and all at the same time for the customers also we have uh, uh, the chats clients websites and uh, most of the things which actually comes into database service monitoring the uh, management and uh, work services, log services and loading services. So all these structures are connected and forms with a single server and that server is monitored through a robot that gives you uh, a clear cut understanding like where is the problem and what is the problem is about to happen. And this is the complete uh, uh, working mechanism of this solution. Of course, in the IT infrastructures, mostly the IP address pinging will be the uh, more uh, crucial one. So whenever the devices are connected, it should communicate with the server. And when it is communicating and what way it is communicating, that depends that whether the particular device is malicious or not malicious. So based upon the ping request, the basic uh, architecture is built upon. And from the corollaries, we are actually seeing that what are the attacks have been been and how it is have been solved upon. And the next module of our solution is on the service intelligence where our bot is actually been there to solve the first level tickets. And if it couldn't solve or if it actually couldn't able to answer the particular solution, it sent it to the second level ticket, which is managed by the human. And we are actually making a feedback mechanism from the second level person to say, give that information to the bot. So if the second level tickets are also the similar pattern, the bot learns itself and gives the response to the user with very less time. So this reduces the human intervention and also the bot learns itself like it keeps learning. It's a supervised learning mechanism which is given to the bot. So it keeps learning on the other sites like what is happening and how this particular uh, module have been uh, working upon. So the complete architecture speaks about the data acquisition part, performance monitoring and service intelligence. So the data acquisition part is taken through the log analytics gateway and the Azure Active Directory and it is moved through uh, the AI builder for performance monitoring and is there any service intelligence that is actually taken care of through the training and testing phase of the tickets which is already been solved and through that we are actually building a logic app that gives the response to the particular user stating that whether he is uh, uh, been actually getting engaged or not uh, he can able to get the other uh, options on that. And with the power of Azure, the automation, we can actually make it more better with the virtual machines and the securities which is provided through firewall and Sentinel platform and the log analytics used to collect the data from different sources, logic apps to send the trigger the any point of uh, simple PLC kind of operation where we can able to trigger a mail or a notification or extract the information from a particular application that gives more flexibility in designing this particular solution. And 
the complete solution is derived upon this power apps and ai builder so the power apps being an ex outbound environment the ai builder and uh, the machine learning module studio gives us the clear uh, understanding like how this can be made more better and uh, the adaptive responses and the detections and the learning mechanism all these things gives us the wide variety of uh, advantage on uh, making a comfort zone for 90% So let's see the demonstration. So in the demonstration, I have made the server management and uh, the deployments uh, have been deployed here. So as the server adaptation and the logs have been recorded here. And uh, along with that, we have the log analysis server where we connected different data of, and we have given the rules there. And the performance recommendation happens here. Like uh, this is the particular solution where we actually use the high response and the critical response and the low level response and all. And it comes under the category of server manager or uh, it is it uh, under the maintenance or it's under the security action. So those things we could able to make it out through this uh, particular understanding. And uh, along with the timestamp we are getting, so we can able to come to know the predictive maintenance approach that sees that what is going to happen in the future. Also, this is on the machine learning deployment. We have deployed the machine learning bot that makes the tickets to get patterned and the tickets to get patterned and uh, to record the uh, to record the patterns and give the response to it accordingly. So based upon we have actually given this particular uh, test manager with the machine learning studio and the JUSIN uh, and the YAML definition of this particular approach have been given. And we can also give the SkyKit learn that uh, we have used the virtual machine for uh, maintaining this machine learning environment. And we have captured the endpoints like uh, from the tickets which we have given as a database that from those we have actually captured the data points and those data points are used as a machine learning blobs which is used as the data sets there. And here we say the data labeling part. So what are the labels have been created and what are the labels have been created upon? So those things have been given with a proper update. So that tells like how this can be modified into uh, better levels. And this is the email triggering app through logic app configuration. We have given the logics here. So based on the text analytics, it extracts the data and it gives the text what it should be pushing to that particular server. And from there, we are actually making drafting the email and sending to the user. So the JSON view of this log cap configuration is mentioned here and the logs which is being created in the past 24 hours that have been created here. So the success of the mail communications have been mentioned over here for reference. So the demo perspective, we have given an app through uh, SDO. So we are actually giving a username, password and the license key. Once the person gets logged in, he actually sees the dashboard like what are the malicious attacks and the other uh, characteristics of this particular vision. So we can able to see what is the what is the abnormal event going in the screen. And we also have the other uh, app, uh, dashboard like what is the app have been used more inside the organization. And this particular data have been collected from the internal server, which is uh, given with uh, limited access. So these things have been used with more of the my MS apps like SharePoint and uh, uh, email and uh, other uh, applications, which we can say that what is the ID and how much is the count of it. We also have the ticket management system. We say over the ticket status and how much is uh, been closed and pending from the bot side. So the bot actually being a first level uh, ticket analyzer, he sees that what are the things he can able to manage and the rest of the things have, have been sent to the uh, IT person. So since because of the supervised machine learning concept, again, the bot will actually give the responses to the most what have been already been occurred. If it is a new one, it have been it will be sending it to the user. So based on his response pattern, the particular bot learns itself to be an IT person and it actually generates the uh, uh, results, resolutions for the future tickets. For the future tickets and it uh, makes the uh, concept more better. 
the view of the logs have been given here. So what is the issue type and how the issue have been raised and how the view of the uh, tickets will be there. So that have been provided here. And how this ticket resolved mail works like uh, uh, myself, I have raised a uh, IT support ticket stating that my server upload is getting slow and performance is quite bad. So which actually tells that what is the issue here? So through JSON, we are actually extracting this key phrases like what is the this is the first level identifier, like what is the issue and how what is the core issue with it? So those things have been added upon here and after that the bot sends me a mail of like uh, what is the response I've been received and based on that I have been actually got to know that this is uh, as per this observation the server utilization seems to be more than 75 percentage of the server response so you wanted to actually it gives me a recommendation also to say that the task port for three hours and upload them in chunks which acts not exceeding 5, 5 MB. So this gives me a resolution also that stating that what is the particular resolution point I wanted to work upon. And uh, based on this understanding, I have uh, actually made the precision recall uh, score and uh, accuracy levels, which is more than 91 percentage, which is uh, a very good supervised uh, algorithms uh, performance on it. And the time elapsed for this complete process is 18 minutes. So or uh, when the data are keep on increasing, the latency will be uh, increased upon. But uh, we wanted to work on the optimization of the timings as well, since uh, if it, the data goes beyond millions of count, then the latency will be quite more. So we should actually make the stabilization and the optimization part that uh, which uh, we can actually give it in a very broader level. <coughs> So with the powerful insights of Power BI, we give the overview of the particular system and the advisor like it's giving a recommendation system like what is the particular action I wanted to take upon and how the networking have been made and what are the computations have been performed and uh, how the alerts have been generated. So all these things we are uh, actually making it through the insights of Power BI and the Power Apps. The particular bomb actually been included with the ML Studio and AI Builder, Power Apps and Power BI. And on top of this, we are using log analytics to connect the data and VPN gateway to access the data source and the file storage to actually understand the JSON pointers in it and the ADC server and Azure monitor to actually create the instances and uh, monitor the parameters more effectively. So thank you, thank you all for the for uh, uh, for the wonderful opportunity given by Microsoft on this workathon. Thank you.